guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm finally gonna be sharing with you how i make my whipped everything butter which is literally my secret weapon you guys i've been using this thing since i was in like the ninth grade for pretty much everything chapstick shaving face moisturizer dark spot fader you name it this stuff is so good you guys i'm super excited to share it with you please don't forget to like comment and subscribe you guys and let's get into it Alright, so first you're going to get a large mixing bowl and a measuring cup. And the first ingredient we will be using is mango butter, you guys. I love mango butter so, so much because it absorbs into the skin so nicely. And it doesn't leave that nasty oily film like cocoa butter or shea butter usually leaves. So this is what mango butter looks like in its solid form, you guys. This is a 16 ounce bag, so I am pouring two US cups of mango butter into my large mixing bowl. Now I'm just gonna take a butter knife and kind of chop up the larger pieces into smaller ones so it will be easier to melt. So for our second ingredient slash carrier, we're just going to be using an oil. I chose avocado oil because it is super lightweight and moisturizing and I thought it would pair very nicely with the properties of my mango butter. But you can use anything like coconut oil or sweet almond oil. It is completely up to you guys. So now I'm going to add in about 2 teaspoons of sweet almond oil. I probably would have added more, but that was what was left in my bottle, you guys. Please keep in mind that the amount of oil you add will determine the consistency of your butter. If you want a super lighter consistency, you should add more oil. And if you wanted a thicker slash tougher consistency, add less oil. So now I'm just taking my creations pot, aka a pot that I do not care about or eat with, and I'm filling it with water and I'm just going to put it on my stove to come to a nice boil. So after the water heats up a bit, I just put my heat safe bowl full of my mango butter and my oils on top to create a kind of double boiler type deal and the reason why we're melting the butters down is because if we were to whip it while it was solid you guys it would be a little bit crummier and it wouldn't be like a smooth application on the skin i don't know if you've ever whipped shea butter but if you whip shea butter you know in its solid form you know it's one hard to whip and two not the nicest feeling when it goes on So now that everything is nice and melted down, you guys, you just want to take it off the heat for about 5 minutes, let it sit, and then put a bit of plastic wrap or foil over it. And then we're going to go ahead and just store it into the fridge for about 45 minutes to an hour um, until it is semi-solid. I ended up taking it out of my main fridge and putting it in the little juice compartment just for a little bit more space, you guys, so no one would knock it over or anything. And after like 45 minutes or so, this is what we're working with, you guys. This is the consistency that we want for whipping so that our butter is nice and fluffy when it is done. So now I just took out my stand mixer. You can, by all means, use a hand mixer, you guys. I just didn't really want to sit here for like 10 minutes whipping this thing. But you just want to pour all of your contents into the mixer bowl and make sure you get everything out, you guys. No wasting um just really scrape the sides so when you start mixing you guys you want to start on the lowest setting possible and kind of work your way up as the batter gets the batter <laughs> as the mixture gets fluffy you guys you'll definitely see what i mean as it starts to fluff up it turns white in color and just becomes this super fluffy cloudy consistency so now we're just going to pause and scrape up the sides again, you guys, to make sure everything is nice and whipped. And then I'm just going to go in and add in my fragrance. You guys can use either essential oil or a natural fragrance. I'm using my Amber Blends 
um, natural roll-on fragrance. You guys, this stuff is so bomb. I get stopped everywhere. Again, no sponsor. I just really, really love this stuff. Use it every day. And I'm just putting about 10 to 15 drops of the oil and then we're just going to mix it one more time. Now you just want to get a cute little jar you guys and start putting your mixture into it. My mom actually got these jars from the dollar store and it's so cute. She made me this super cute label as well. Um, definitely keep a lot of napkins on you you guys because it does tend to get pretty messy. And that's it. I made two jars, one for my mom and one for myself. Then I got two salt shaker jars out of it and also I filled up an old candle as well. Um, I just want to show you guys the consistency on my finger. It's very close to like Pond's or the Nivea lotion in the little tin. It is so fluffy and cloudy, you guys. It smells so, 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 so good. And I always get complimented whenever I wear it. So this butter is good for about a year and some change, you guys. For me personally, I go through a jar like this one maybe every one to two months. Um, because I use it every single day for a lot of things, obviously. Just be sure to store your butter in a cool, dry place, you guys. Keep it away from any heaters or radiators or anything like that. Make sure that when you go in to dip your hand and grab your butter, that your hands are clean at all times. Because we don't want our butter to go rancid or anything like that before it's time, you know? So that brings us to the end of this video, you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.